Welcome to this week's episode of Ultimate Athlete Magazine's UA Insider. In this all-star episode, we'll introduce you to a Connect Quad athlete who's a track star and also trains in some other unique sports. Then we'll head over to John Glenn High School for the story of a soccer star who will find himself shooting over to Italy next year. After that, we'll meet the Roslyn High Schooler who made all the headlines this year. And finally, we'll wrap up at the Millneck School for a story on the success one young man has had in the deaf community. Stay tuned, you're watching UA Insider. Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Peters and thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Ultimate Athlete Magazine's UA Insider, where each week we strive to highlight some of Long Island's most dedicated individual athletes and teams. We definitely have an all-star lineup for you today. Our first piece is on a talented athlete from Connect Quad High School. She's been on the mat, on the track, and in the cage, so let's check out the story of Jenna Barreto. Hi, my name is Jenna Barreto and I go to Connect High School. I started doing karate when I was eight years old and then I went into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu when I was 11. I'm not just like a typical, you know, girly girl. I play a whole bunch of different sports from volleyball, field hockey, wrestling, boxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and uh, winter and spring track. She didn't balance the time that much for me because when she was in my season, she worked just for me. What she had done was she had done all of the sports. And I don't just mean the wrestling and the, the fighting. I mean, she's played soccer, she's played field hockey, she's done it all. But whenever season she's in, she gives it 100%. She really did everything we ever wanted. Because um, there's no boys in my family, I got that role. <laughs> so my dad made me, he didn't make me, but he encouraged me to try wrestling, try Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because it is something that he enjoys. So that made us really close since we've been since I've been young, ever since I've been, you know, into all the typical guy sports, but it's something I love and I'm good at it, so I'm not gonna be ashamed of it. I met Jenna, it feels like ages ago. She's 18 now. She came to me doing some private lessons when she was like 12 years old. When you're wound up, you're sitting in school all day and then you know you have the the pressures of coming to practice and performing and you know for me leading all the workouts being in charge of my team is just it's crazy so when I come here it's a form of relaxation like you know people would consider like yoga or something it's still an exercise but it relaxes you. I do a lot of private lessons with her and uh, work on her jiu-jitsu and uh, she's got an incredible game jiu-jitsu wise. <laughs> Jenna you know she just she just took right to the Brazilian jiu-jitsu and uh, she was a bit of a prodigy. Our training is is pretty intense and you know what works and what doesn't work. And with Jenna, it was like everything I showed her she was able to use right away. It picks it up just naturally. I've never seen it before. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is based on leverage and technique and timing. And she was just relentless with that. And the good thing about that is some people, they supplement the technique with strength, with size, with weight. She didn't have that. So she was relying 100% on technique and she picked up the techniques very quickly. You put your body to that limit and you keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it until it just becomes susceptible to it and you can do it without even thinking. So Jenna used to depress a lot of the boys that were training here because she was just very aggressive. Just from move to move to move and hard to slow her down. People here at you know Sarah's Place, they embraced it and everyone loved that I was the only girl or one of the only girls here and I was so young and I was like competing with all the guys and made me feel like I was important. We kind of treat our women like special, uh, we'll, we'll take care of them, we'll show them like on the side and have them train and, and make sure they don't get hurt and make sure that everybody's treating her the same. I, I feel like that I, I train as hard as the guys and I do as much as the guys and I don't think I should be treated differently because I'm a girl. I feel like. I'm on the same caliber as them, so why treat me differently? Not only was she shining when, when it was time to perform, so she was she competed even better than when she was on, on the mat. You know, 
She did not let the, 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 the fear of competition or the fear of losing get the better of her, which a lot of times people do. At first, I was so young, so I didn't expect all this to happen. I didn't expect to excel as much as I did. It was just natural for me. Jiu-Jitsu is a very physical activity, and the more athletic you come into the game, the better off you are. I know uh, she got a scholarship for running. Uh, and and that, that's amazing, and I think that helps a lot with jiu-jitsu. Track is going to be my main focus in college. I'm going to, you know, hopefully for the next four years, five years, hopefully, you know, end up being All-American in the 800, and we'll just see what happens. She's going to start out by really helping them on relays. I think that will be the first thing she'll do. And that will probably lead in, as she gets a little older and more experienced, into someone who could score for them in the Big East, which is really a great accomplishment. She has a priority straight. She's not straight on school. She's got the track thing going for her. It's awesome. If she goes away for four years, how long she goes away, she comes back to Long Island, we'll be here. Obviously, after I come back from college and everything, jiu-jitsu will be something I'm going to stick for until I'm 60, 70 years old because that's what people do when they're in jiu-jitsu. You just can't let it go. After the break, UA Insider will be back with the story of a soccer star who will be shooting over to Italy next year. Stay tuned.